Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I have another free dopest VST plugins and I bet you all gonna love this plugin. But before starting this video, I wanna thank you all for 5k subscribers. You guys are awesome. I couldn't have asked for more. You made my year. Thank you so much. So this plugin is called Keratune. It's a synth VST plugin with lots of controls and it is beginners friendly. Right here you have a preset tab in here. And everything is well organized with R, Bass, Leap Plus, Keys, Leads, Pad and SFX. You have this window right here. And you can also click on here and you have all the list of these presets right here. All these are presets. You have whole bunch of presets. And they are not just any random presets. They actually sound good. And you can manipulate these presets sound from here with all these controls. You have oscillators right here cool thing about this plugin is that when you hover your mouse to a knob or something like this it will give you instruction and details about that specific knob so if you're not sure what a knob does you can always hover your mouse and they will give you exact instruction what it does so that's a really good thing for the beginners who are getting started and here you have pitch right here and you have delay in here you have EQ right here and you can turn on and off with this power switch right here if you click on it and you can control all the settings from here and you have high pass filter right here and you have low pass filter right here all this you can control and manipulate you have phraser right here and you have master volume knob right here now you can use all these knobs and settings to manipulate the sounds from this plugin okay okay so now let me play with the demo of these sounds and let's see how this plugin actually sounds, okay? Now let's try to just mess around with the settings a bit and let's see what sounds we can come up with, okay? so with bits of tweaks you can come up with really cool sound and this is really beginner friendly 
synth vst plugins once you learn the mechanism of this vst i'm quite sure that you can learn any synth vst plugin out there it has everything all the basics settings and tools that you would need to learn the advanced synth anyway so in this next part i will show you how to download and install this vst plugin inside apple studio this is for beginners so let's get started so guys this is a website where you can get this plugin the link is mentioned in the description and as you can see in here it's the latest update and it's for mac and windows i'm gonna go ahead and download for windows and it has finished downloaded now let's open this folder up now whenever you download any new programs from the internet make sure you scan it windows comes with the default antivirus program it's called windows defender so you can go ahead and scan with it okay but i'm not gonna do that because i've already done the process now i'm gonna just run the setup open a box should pop up like this click i accept click on next and i don't need the manual so i'm gonna uncheck that click next click next finish now load up your FL studio go to options file settings manage plugins find install plugins and let FL studio scan the plugins for you I have also specific videos on how to install plugins on FL studio if you are not sure about it or if you find any errors I'll put the link at the top right now it should pop up so you can go check that video out too after this video okay or you can always comment down below because I'm really active on YouTube so I would reply you ASAP now it is done scanning it you can scroll down and it should be in yellowish color that means that we have installed it correctly we can close this box we can close this box now we have to go to this little plugin icon and go to install go to generators and click on new and there we should have it Kera tune just drag and drop it on a channel rack and it should load up the plugin okay and here you have it everything working all the presets all the settings and everything works great so guys that was the demo and preview and also how to install this plugin on iPhone studio and I really hope this video helps please comment rate subscribe and share and I will see you in the next video.